Hi everyone, I'm First Friend. Thank you very much for watching this video. Today we would like to discuss about the MSCDE, moving F-rate, convergent, and divergence. This is a very full, powerful uh, indicator that you can use on your trading. And most traders in the world actually use this indicator for analysis and estimate where price will move. Okay. Uh, before that, I just want to remind you, if you want to learn about the price movement analysis, you can chat me on Telegram at Vesven. And if you want to read some books, you can go to Google Play Books and type Vesven. You will see that there's three books there. One is Simple Make Indicator Analysis, this book for newbie actually, especially for stocks trading and scalping for living also for stock trading. But if you understand the this basic, you can use for any trade, any market. You can use for forex or cryptocurrency. And one book is the Crypto Fest. This is a cryptocurrency books. I just talked there about the futures trading actually. Okay. Let's talk about the MACD. Yeah? Why MACD to be the most powerful indicator that used by most traders in the world? Because this is very rich information in MACD. We have a momentum. We can see a trend and also duration that we can count and estimate how long the price movement will or will start okay let's see the life MACD basically is a two line there's MACD line and a signal line or people say the K line and T line okay you see this one this one is MACD line and this is a signal line if you read uh, MACD books in any books you can find <laughs> okay you will read 300 or 400 books uh, pits I mean but this time I would like to share with you how to understand easily about the MSCD and you can identify the movement for your estimate where the price will move for the next okay and in this MSCD you can see this one the histogram what his histogram is histogram is the distance between the key line and the D line or distance between the MACD line and a signal line or you can imagine you can describe it if you uh, spread this key line and D line to the Line, linear uh, picture you can see the distance is the histogram this is a simple understanding for you okay then we will talk about the histogram now I will show you how to easy understanding MACD the histogram you can split to be three position one is the valley position. Two is a art line. And three is about the mountain. Okay. You just need to remember if MRCD move from the valley to the art and going to the mountain, price or, the, or candle tend to move up. That is a simple understanding for you. And when uh, from the mountain going to earth and going to fairly price will go down or tend to move down. That's a simple understanding for you. And we will see on the live chart. We will see on the stocks, Indonesia stock, of course, uh, because I'm in Indonesia. And we will see for the Bitcoin maybe. Okay, I change first. Uh, 
Okay. Everybody, I would like to show you. This is a BBRI chart or Bank Republic Indonesia chart. Bank, uh, sorry, Bank Rakyat Indonesia chart. We see this uh, time frame on weekly. Actually, MACD you can use for any time frame, weekly, daily, or maybe one hour or maybe four hour. This is the same counting. And let's talk about this. Okay, we start from here. This is the position when the price on the top of the mountain. And you see, when the MACD moved down, going to earth, and going down to failure, you can see the price move down. And start here, when the price can define the support, MACD start move from the valley, go to the earth, and start go to the mountain. And you see price tend to move up. Again, when the price start down, this is a normal correction, I said. You can see the MACD move down too. But this can be learned. MACD from the mountain not always touch the earth. You need to be careful with this because some people uh, feel or false or not understand this one. They think it still go down, but press move up. Why press move up? You see this one. This is a strong bullish formation. And when a strong bullish formation, we see... MACD not attached to the earth, but back to the mountain. Okay. This is a very simple understanding for you. And you use Indonesian stocks. What about the other market? Let's say BTC. Let's see BTC. This is BTC for our time frame. We start here to have uh, easy understanding, and you can learn again by yourself. Let's see this one. MACD move from the top to the earth and start back move to the mountain. And you can see price move up. And when from the mountain going down to the earth and going down to the valley, price then to move down. Maybe you will asking how we know the top of the mountain or the bottom of the valley. You need to use another indicator for this one. You can use a Bollinger Band maybe. See? To identify where the top of the mountain, you can use the Bollinger Band when price touch the upper line, the Bollinger Band. That's the top of the mountain. So you need to mix indicators. That's why some people to estimate use not only one indicator, but as I say, MACD is the strongest indicator and uh, tend to use several times and tend to mix with other indicators. Okay, that is uh, a simple understanding for MACD. I hope this can benefit for you to understand MACD. And see you for the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys.